Hello there again, friends. Today is 12-5-2021 and it is day nine of the Odin Project vlog. And today I worked on, I am actually 41% uh, through the foundations course. It's just moving right along. Um, today I worked on the links and images sec uh, module. And we'll just go through this real quick because uh, I want to get to the editor, uh, the code editor, excuse me. So, uh, the introduction here, uh, we have learning outcomes, uh, we're talking about links and images today. So it goes through and it asks you right away, it gets you working, having you creating directories and all that. I'm going to go through, I'm going to skip over, uh, abbreviate some of this here, because we're going to go over it in the code editor, um, but because of, for sake of time today, I'm not going to uh, type it all out live with you as I did yesterday. But I will go over the line by line uh, of the finished product the best I can, so that you can get a picture of uh, of what today's lesson was about. So you prep it with some um, creating some index file index.html, and you create it inside of Odin Links. Basically, creating the file structure talks about anchor elements, um, and then it talks about absolute and relative links. Um, definition of what them are what them are what excuse me goodness struggle bus what they are um, I've actually never used either of them um, I've never heard of them so in my previous uh, experience of working through HTML so that was uh, a new learning thing for me and then it gives you an example of uh, the boilerplate that we created before and um, adding in some of uh, the uh, so here in your anchor tag, you have an href. This is your, this is what they call, I believe, the uh, attribute, and then this is the value, which would be the odinproject.com forward slash about, and then uh, that's wrapped in that first uh, a tag, and then the, you close it with an a tag, and then the click click me will be the clickable link, and then um, they're showing an example here, and we'll go through all this. So. Um, I've already done all this in the code editor. Um, has you do some more things, and it talks about uh, metaphors. If you're having a hard time understanding the difference between absolute and relative, uh, and I put some comments in my in my code, we'll look at to the, show the difference between uh, relative and absolute um, when it comes to links, and you can do it for images as well. And then it talks about images, IMG tag for image. Image tag does not need a closing tag. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a one-liner. Everything goes inside the bracket. Um, just as they show as an example here. Um, <clears throat> and then talks about uh, more directory structuring, um, the alt attribute, which stands for alternative text. This would be something a screen reader would read. Um, for the visually impaired, so it's always a good best practice to include uh, what they call alt text, but alternative text in there, so that the screen reader will pick it up. Because obviously a blind person will not be able to see the image, so the t the screen reader will just read the Odin Project logo, so they have an idea of at least what's on the page, you know. So, uh, and then it has you watch some uh, videos. Uh, more introductory videos just reinforcing everything you already went through and then they have an article here and I did link uh, bring it up here to show you it's kinda cool I the only part I want to highlight is it talks about the four different main types of images and the lesson didn't really talk about it so I'm just gonna abbreviate it here JPEGs which we're probably all familiar with uh, JPEGs are good for photos GIFs Another common one, GIFs are good for animations. PNG files are good for diagrams and icons. And one less common file, at least one that I'm not super familiar with, is SVG files. It says they're amazing. Use them whenever you can. Um, uh, basically, SVGs, as I read, here's an abbreviated version, is it uh, kind of blends the popularity and uh, all the positives of all three of these types but the downside is um, they the files can become very large if you have any um, 
any text-based lines or anything in your image. Uh, the, so the file can become bloated really quickly as far as the size of it. So you have to be careful when you use them. Um, but they are a very good blend of all these. Um, and so, but like I said, uh, the lesson doesn't really go over this part. It doesn't go over, it just has you download some JPEGs. So anyway, without further ado, let's, um, let's hit the code editor, How shall we? So here's the here's the code editor. So I know you're probably not gonna be able to see this very well, but um, I'm gonna try to. That's not gonna work. Um, I don't know how to zoom on the terminal. I'm sure there's a way. There we go. Um, okay, that's not working. Uh, zoom in. Zoom in. Okay. And we'll just zoom in another time. Sorry, guys. Okay. So what it has you start out doing in the exercises says we need to make an Odin links and images directory. So it was basically having you do it all in the um, code editor, but I wanted to be overachiever and think outside the box, so I went ahead and hit the command line with it in the terminal. And so I make dir... Odin links and images and I cd'd into it and then it said to create an index.html file so touch command creates that and then I show it here and then it's said to go ahead and open that file with uh, VS code so I use code space period space index.html and that launches it right inside of here uh, which is pretty cool and then um, and then it has you create uh, later on in the exercise it has you create a about.html file so I created it that via touch again and <coughs> excuse me and then you had ma I had make their pages because at some point you know what it's gonna get a little confusing because this is out of order so let's uh, let's hit the code editor how shall we sorry about that <clears throat> I have Tourette's syndrome, so bear with me. And sometimes, guys, I have our time getting through some through some stuff here when I have I have to tick. So, anyway, um, here we are at the index.html. So, if you are familiar with this, this is the boilerplate we've been working with. And so, what what we added here in the exercise was uh, it told us to add a home page h1, which is a header reference, as we learned yesterday. H1 big. Um, and then we create an absolute link, and I put this, they didn't actually say to put comments in, but I did to make it easier flowing for, and to, for discussion here with you guys. So here's an abs example of an absolute link. Absolute link is a link that goes outside to the internet, so outside of your project. So since this goes to a totally different domain, it's going to be called an absolute link, and here's your anchor tag, call that A for anchor. And href would be, uh, this is the uh, attribute or value, uh, attribute, and then here's the value, would be the odinproject.com forward slash about. And click me, which is inside of the anchor bracket, the anchor tag before you close it. That will be what comes on the page as a click me, which is, which will take you here. A relative tag, on the other hand, is an href same type of deal but this one it points to your directory structure it's inside your page so this period in front means let's look at the parent directory so let's look at the odin links and images and then let's look in the pages folder pages folder and then we're going to look for the about.html which is right here exactly where it says it's going to be and then we're going to call it about, so it's going to show up as about on the page as a hyperlink that you can click. And it will go to the about.html, which is inside pages. And then at some point in the exercise, it also has you make a local uh, dog image. Uh, it saves it, gets it, you have to get it from the internet basically. So I got one from the internet, downloaded it, moved it, and then placed it, um, created a... Um, this is what I was showing you in the um, terminal. It was just getting a little confusing, but basically it tells you to make an image folder. So I made an images folder, and then I put the dog.jpg inside of the image folder, 
and then put in an image, which is IMG, this is a tag. SRC stands for source. And then your target would here is images forward slash dog dot JPEG, JPG. And that would take you in here and hit you and it'll hit the dog and bring it up. And then alt, as we discussed, would be alternative text. So this would be what the screen reader would pick up. Pick of dog is what I typed in there. Um, so if, say, the, the only way you would see it with your human eyes is if for some reason the JPEG becomes broke. Uh, it will have a broken image and it'll just say pick of dog uh, where that image would have been. But if, if dog comes up correctly, if the JPEG pulls up correctly on the page, you won't see the, this. This would be just for the screen reader. And actually, I just thought, I'm sorry, you guys, you probably can't see this real well. So I um, hope that helps. I hope you're able to see it before. So here's the absolute link. Here's the relative link. Here's the local dog image we just talked about all encapsulated inside the body and then it also has you make an, um, uh, the other page is the about and it's basically another shell it's another boilerplate file and all you do all I had to do is create a, a heading one of about page and then there's an image in there and its source goes to the dog again just it's just going through and this is dot dot meaning look to the parent which you have to put two dots in there because it has to go up to find that dog page. It has to go up past the the pages and into the images uh, folder, and then it has to go find it under the Odin links and images. Um, sorry if that was poorly explained, but uh, anyway, that would be where that's at, and that's why the double dots is there. Is it just basically says look at the parent. Um, and then the alt, as we described, already, is the alternative text for a screen reader, and that's enca encapsulated. Excuse me, struggle bus tonight inside the body of the about.html. So um, that will produce this in the browser. So here is the index.html. So this page is that right there so you know it, obviously it's not pretty but it gets the job done so there um, there's the home page there's the clip me click me link which is right there and again it's not doing carriage returns and spaces like that because we haven't told it to do that in the code because remember from yesterday we talked about um, the browser doesn't know spaces and all this so it doesn't know anything it doesn't recognize spaces so it just puts everything together so that, we're not going after um, style yet we're just going after functionality as the project as for this project anyway and then here's the about link that will that's here it's going to take you to that about page so if you click on it that's this does what it's supposed to do it takes you out to the Odin project and if you click the about it actually goes to the about page because you can see here the fi the file adjusted to my home directory Odin links and images pages and about.html and there's the picture of the dog because on that page which is here we have that image source of that dog which is coming out of the images folder that's underneath the Odin links and images which is inside this dot dot which means go to the parent so um, that was the abbreviated version of that. Um, sorry if that went a little too fast. You can always replay the video and, and slow me down if you need to. And um, sorry about the text being a little bit small for a while there. I'm trying to be make these videos high quality as best I can. And so, you know, I've got my resolution pretty low here on my monitor. So I got to make sure I got to remember to always blow it up for you guys so you can see it okay. Um, so that's about it. Um, so this is what we did in the terminal, um, and this is the make dirt. So this is when I created the directory images, and then I actually really I gave up on the on the command line after a point. I basically I was trying to move a file from a download folder to the Odin links. It's the dog photo because it was named something else, and I was having a heck of a time as you can see with it. So I gave up on it and just. <laughs> 
went to file explorer and did it manually um, I gave up at that point but I did come back to the command line as you can see um, and then this was the name of the the JPEG I kept trying it and this was the name of the dog before it was dog.jpg this was the downloaded name that they have you grab off the web and it just wasn't working so I just said hey, I'm coming off the terminal now so you can do everything inside here inside your uh, I think that's what they intended because they didn't say go to the command line but like I said earlier I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and try to do more on the command line to uh, familiarize, familiarize myself with it so but you can do everything here you can create a file you can create a folder you can refresh to get the most recent change and you can collapse it so you can do everything in here honestly you can right click new file new folder open containing folder so you don't need to do it in the command line I was just being an overachiever if you will um, so we're at the 15 minute mark here so I, I'm trying to keep these bite size and digestible you know 10 to 15 minutes is where I try to keep these so um, we're about done here um, I will say uh, I my next section is a project so it's pretty cool recipes project I haven't even looked at it but I'm excited to start the project my first actual project not that the lessons haven't been cool but this one's gonna uh, looks like it's gonna take me a little bit of time but I do have some personal things I need to take care of tomorrow so and tomorrow's Monday 12 6 so I may or may not get to this which means I may or may not do an upload tomorrow which oh sad I know it'll be the first day that I didn't actually put up a recording I know I've been doing really good about recording and studying every single day but tomorrow I've got some personal things and and uh, my night's gonna be probably consumed up with my personal things um, you know uh, so life happens but uh, if I do get to something and I do get some get time to work on this project I will do an upload so if not you'll probably see me on Tuesday 12 I'd be 12 7 so with that said, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I hope you uh, learned a little bit tonight and enjoyed the journey along with me, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.